Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pika Cube, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, what we can do with uh, programming our computer. So, just a simple example in this case, um, I just wrote a, a simple counter program that will count from 0 to 255 and then go back to 0. So, I've set the clock to 4 hertz. Um, yeah, 4 hertz. Uh, come on. Right there, 4 hertz and uh, you can see it's clicking four times a second it is a little bit um it's a, a little bit off but it also the screen refreshes a little bit differently and because my video recording software isn't the best um it's probably not going to look quite right but anyway i'll show you this program so first right now i have i've made a simple input output down here at the bottom he, this pin controls i need to label it this pin controls our uh whether we're running a program or not, and this pin, clear or this button clears the program. So let's clear the program. Now we're at the beginning, and we can start running. So uh, let me just go over what this does first. So I'll bring in our chart real quick. So zero zero do nothing. We don't care about that. Uh, zero one load A, and then our input is zero. So it puts zero in register A, and then zero two load B puts one in register B. Now it will uh, 12 in hexadecimal is 1 and 2, so that's output A. So it is outputting 0, because that's what it's in, what's in register A. It's outputting 0 to the outputs here, uh, the 7 segment display output and the binary output. So yeah, output A and 10, which is this one, A plus B equals C. So it's adding 1 to 0, or whatever it is, because as we'll see soon, um, 0B, which... I believe is register move because we also have the register key four, which is C to A. So it takes the addition, what was uh, what A plus B was, puts it in C, and then it moves it right back to A. And that way, it keeps adding over to itself. So after um, it moves, it uh, fourteen, which is one for this one, output C. It's going to output what it added together, and then zero E, which is um, let me see here. Uh, that's 14, uh, which is 1110. So it should be this one, jump. And that jumps to a certain program address, and it just sets the counter for this thing here. It sets it to whatever number you give it. In this case, we're going to go back to 4. So that is right here. This one, which is 10. Where did my thing go 10 is the one zero this one a plus b equals c so it just adds them again and keeps looping around so if we want to see that we can clear again just to make sure and we can run it so i have it at four hertz like i said so it should go re relatively fast first it should um output zero and then it will start counting up so let's start here it goes zero one two looks like it's working Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, increase the clock speed to, let's do 64 hertz, which is pretty fast. You can see it's counting quite fast now. But it is a very nice design. It's, I don't think it's missing any numbers or anything tragic like that. But... I'll show you when it when it gets to 255. It's going to uh, go back to zero, and I'll show you why as well. So it's almost there. It's at almost at 200. 200. Also, this is a great way to test our uh, seven segment display right here, back to zero. And this is why it does that. I'm gonna decrease the clock speed because it's kind of annoying. Uh, no, four. Four. There we go. So basically, the ALU, when it receives a number um, greater than 255, um, I'm not sure exactly why, but it will go back to zero. So it's not anything that I programmed into it, but every time it gets to 255, it goes back to zero. So one thing I'm also going to do real quick um, is make it so it counts down instead. So we can use subtraction and we can try that and see how it works. So basically all we need to do is let me grab my thing here. 
I'll put it uh, right here. So instead of adding, we just need to subtract. So a minus b equals c. That is this one, number 10. And we just need to change that to 11. So 11. And there's one more thing. We need to start at 255. So if we go to where it starts at 1, which is right here, instead of 0, we need to change that to ff or 255. Um now let's try it so reset the program and it should count down now 255 4 3 oh this is awesome 2 1 yeah I love this computer it's so fun to build and so awesome um yeah anyway uh, if you want to see any more cool programs that uh, you want me to make um, post them down in the comments below um, in this video, I will link to the circ file, the circuit file that I used for this. Um, hopefully, you should have all the components. If not, let me know down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!